Hello everybody, welcome to Artistic Studio Creations Design Team Project page. I have no idea. Uh, I'll show you what we have so far. Um, I, I started from the back, so this is page 12. But if you're looking for the videos, it's page 1. This is a really simple page, just a big pocket. I think I doubled that one up with one of the other ones. This is a simple pocket with some flaps and a magnetic closure. This is uh, this video is not up yet because I lost the footage of this one. I'll be doing this page again. This is my little double page here my short double page and then this is uh, the same video as this because I lost footage on this one so I remade it for you guys. Today, or this video rather, I wanted to make a um, triple pocket that doesn't build up a lot of bulk. It's like a, I don't know what you would call it, like a uh, slide-in pocket, maybe. Uh, so basically the idea behind it is to have your pocket there, but not add a lot of bulk or have more than one pocket but not add a lot of bulk and I do this in a lot of my albums. I'm going to say probably half of my albums have this pocket in it. So these are the base pages that I made in the, I believe, first video or second video of the series, The Prima Moon Child. Uh, the base pages are nine and a half by seven and a half and ten and a half by seven scored at a half inch on both long sides. You can use score tape or glue on this. I kind of got tired of pulling the score tape, <laughs> score tape out. So we'll just we're gonna go with the glue. And here. Okay, so once you have your page together. Uh, you kind of have to figure out how big you want your pockets. There's two things. You can make the pockets so that they're sealed at the bottom so only smaller things will fit them. Or you can make these pockets so that they're not sealed at the bottom and whatever you put in will go all the way down so that you'd have bigger like uh, tags that you can slide in the top. It's up to you. <coughs> Typically the bottom is a, a bigger pocket and you want to make sure that you have room at the top also. So let's do, we'll start like this so you guys can see. We can do a three inch pocket, have one at five and one at seven. So I want one three inch and two two inch. Okay, now that's super simple. Uh, if you're going to use a punch to decorate your pockets, uh, then you need to take into that can take that into consideration. I'm not. I'm gonna leave mine as is. If I want to add decoration later, I'll just put a punch uh, border on it. They are seven inches, so I'm gonna cut at eight, so it has a half inch on both sides. So I'm going to cut. Eight inches and then three and a half, two and two. Okay. 
And there are my pockets. And we just score at a half inch on both sides. dry fit here. Yep, that works. Um, some people do uh, like big mini albums with less pages, but the pages are very elaborate. I like my mini albums to have more pages and be less elaborate each page because uh, I feel that it's like the more pages you have, the less that they weigh, the sturdier, the sturdier it will be. Just a personal um, opinion there. Okay, and then your large pocket, the one that's going on the bottom, is glued on three sides. Okay. And I always recommend using glue for the bottom of the pocket so that um, Your tags don't get stuck in the tape. Okay, and then you take your other two pockets and you're just going to take and you're going to do like a 45 degree angle right here. So at about a half inch. You can turn it over so you can see your um, that's a half inch your gusset and that will allow it to slide down in there like that okay we're going to do the same with this one Again, that will allow it to slide down in there like that. Now, if you want bigger items to slide all the way down in there, you only glue on the sides. If you want the bigger items to, or if you don't want bigger items and they're all going to be about the same size, you can just uh, glue on all three sides. Did I say that right? Bigger items, glue on two sides. Smaller items, glue on three sides. So since these are so short, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it just on the two sides. So it means that you can essentially put items that are just as big as the page in there. And you just slide these underneath and make sure that you're even at the top because that's what's going to be visible. The bottom we can cover with paper. So I'm four and a little over a quarter. And Four and a quarter. That's pretty close. I'm good with that. Okay. 
And we'll do the same thing here. Oops. There we go. Slide it in. Oops. And then we got two and five eighths and that one's off a little bit more. Pull it up a little bit. Much better. Okay. Okay. Super simple. Triple pocket. Let's go ahead and add this page to the album. Make sure that your pockets are facing the right way. Straddle the hinge. Line it up with the base to make sure that it's straight. But leave yourself like an eighth of an inch. All right, there we go. Super simple page. Can't wait to start adding paper to these. Yeah, so the last couple of pages we've done have been fairly simple. Uh, so the second page is going to be a pretty detailed page because it's this one. I have to redo this one for you. And the front page is going to be a shaker page. So let's go ahead and make this one a little bit more elaborate and interactive. So let's grab our base page. And our base page measures I should know this by now <laughs> nine and a half by seven and a half ten and a half by seven and score the ten and a half by seven on the long sides book has a total of 12 pages which includes like a little half page that I did or a three-quarter page with those two pockets and flips and deco punch my corners to keep things consistent Using wet glue, but you can also use score tape. I use Scotch Quick Dry adhesive most of the time, but the alternative is uh, that I also use is Art Glitter Glue. The, the Scotch Quick Dry is uh, a little thicker because. It doesn't have that fine tip applicator. Um, I think it dries a little quicker too because it is thicker. So on projects where I don't have to be precise, I use my scotch. When I need to be precise, I use my art glitter glue. Okay. So I was thinking like uh, a gatefold, but possibly, you know, several layers here. So 
uh, and then it would have a magnetic closure. Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, the thing about doing a gatefold is that the subsequent pages has to be a little smaller, <laughs> smaller, thinner than the others. I only have a quarter inch uh, gusset, so we're going to have to keep them uh, pretty small. But I think what we'll do, these are seven inches. We can start by cutting our paper down to nine and a half. And let's do, let's do four to start. That should be enough. Let's start. Let's start on this side. So this is going to be the one that you put first is going to be the bottom layer. So let's go ahead and make that I'm trying to I'm trying to decide. I think I want it to fold all in to itself. So okay, we'll just make it that can be the top. It doesn't have to be the bottom. I'm going to make the first one. seven and a quarter. For the second one, seven and a quarter. I'm going to score both of those at a half inch. No, yes, so we're going to score both of those at a half inch. on the short side. Okay. I may pull the score, score tape out on this one just because they're they're really long and I don't want them to buckle. If you know what I mean. So I'm just going to get my quarter score tape out. By buckling, I mean um, sometimes when you add the extra one, the liquid or the moisture, it, the page tends to get wavy, and then 
when you add that rigidity of the glue because the glue is polymer and it kind of gets hard it can buckle right so I'm going to try to prevent that and I'm going to go ahead and just leave a tiny sliver like a 32nd of an inch over here and then the same with this side on the right track. <laughs> same with this side. And then we're going to do the same thing. It's going to fold out and out and out. So we're going to do this one a little bit smaller. Uh, we want it to be six and a half. So I'm going to cut it at seven so that we have a half inch to score. This is it. I'm not going to add any more. I could go for as long as I wanted adding flats to this to make it however long, but I only have a quarter inch gusset. So just each time you want to make it like a quarter inch smaller. So just remember that. Okay. And again, I'm going to use score tape. What should we call this pocket? The, or not pocket, page. The quadruple fold out, fold out page, quadruple. And then you have so many possibilities with what you can do to the inside of this. You can add flaps, you can add pockets, you can add pretty much anything you want because it's all sealed in here. So yeah, so this is huge here. Okay, so all we have to do is find a way to keep it closed. Um, I've used, I, I can use a magnet uh, or we can use another one of those closures that goes up. I, I have enough room for that. If I use a magnet, it would just be like here or here. That would keep it more simple. You want to do that? We can do that. You can use a magnet to close anything if you know where to put it, right? You want the least amount of paper between the two magnet pieces and still have it close. That's the key. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> the sticky is not sticking to the magnet. Um, to be fair, these are a couple years old, I think. Oh, I got it to work. So there's that. Tape that on. And this one. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. Okay. Super simple. Lots of uh, interaction. And we can add to it when we start decorating. Like, um, I've done a couple where, you know, there's tuck spots. Uh, we can put, Just remembering that even after we add paper, we only have a quarter of an inch there. Um, but you can do tuck spots. You can do uh, just like photo mats. So, super simple, super simple page. Anybody can do this. Again, line up your page. The thicker pages, the harder it is to get on straight. But totally not impossible. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, I do have some score tape showing, or yeah, score tape showing here because uh, I had it too close to the hinge. So uh, what I'll do with that, I don't want it to, I don't want it to get, you know, stuff stuck all over it, especially since this is black. But I can just use a dab of glue to go over that. Or I can even peel it up with an exacto knife. And this is on the hinge. Now don't cut the hinge. But you can cut a part of the score tape. And start pulling it. You do not want that to get all gross. Okay. That's that. Alright, you guys, so um, there is the base to that page. Again, super simple, but it's going to add a lot of character, I think, especially once we start decorating. Add some tuck spots, add some pockets, maybe some side pockets. And there you go. Head on over to ASC Supplies on Etsy or ASCCraftSupplies.com and pick up your wonderful uh, paper. 15% off mixed media right now if you're a mixed media person. I use Scrapping Posh Tin for regular price items. So thanks a lot and we'll see you later. We got three more pages to go. Bye-bye.